Hello everybody and welcome to Camping Corner. So today we have it's me and Dan. Yes. Normally you get to see the Tony and Dan combo. Finally, I have been trying so hard to take over the seat. <laughs> Look it's only going to be for a week, but I've been trying so hard to take over the seat. Look, you finally get to do it. Here's what I can guarantee. No heartbeat of America bow tie talk today. <laughs> okay. No rambling stories that go on forever and ever and ever. And a better looking person in the seat. These things I can promise you guys. That I mean, right? I mean, I don't, I feel like I can't go against <laughs> Tony. I feel like... It's okay. It's okay. He's not listening. You know what? You can't get good help these days. We're not even lit up right. Hold on. Technical difficulties. I've got Greer behind the camera. I thought it seemed darker. It did, right? Yeah. There. Now but we're not as gloomy. I don't question it because I don't have that job. Now we're not as gloomy. I tell you, it's hard to find good help these days. It really is. All right, you ready? I'm ready. What are we doing first? What's the buzz? What is the buzz? The buzz is, and I know we have this poll up. It's a tough one. Uh-huh. What do you like better, the lighter interior uh -huh. or the darker interior? You know, everybody knows I do the social and all that kind of stuff in the marketing. Personally, I like the lighter, mm -hmm. right? But I also know that it's important that we carry both because we have a lot of people that prefer the darker. Yes. And I think it's, a, it's like... Um, people put them in classes they're like oh well the older people like the dark and the young and i don't think so like you get younger customers that want the, want the dark mm -hmm. i mean um who was telling me not that long ago that someone was looking at one of the brand new montanas mm -hmm. loved everything about it except hated the new blue stripe that run on the outside of it and didn't want it because of that that's not i mean i don't know who had that person you know what it, i mean though but it like, is a legit thing right so it's like each to their own yes and I think it's important that that they offer multiple things. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a really cool thing that they do now because you as a salesperson can walk somebody into a unit and they're like, this is too dark. And you go, let's go over here and look at this one. Right. So I'm definitely A. What about you? I'm definitely A. I like the light. Because I think, and I just, from being a camper and you're a camper too, it does make the camper seem a lot bigger. Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. So you feel like you've got more space, which is nice. So that's one of the reasons why I like it. I mean, I have kids and animals, so it stinks on that end of it. Right. Dirt, right? Yeah. But. Well, you get rid of the kids and the animals. Get rid of the kids, keep the animals. I try all the time. <laughs> it doesn't work. You know, I think, too, like, uh, people have really responded well. Cougar come out with, it's driftwood, right? Isn't yes. that the color? Yeah. And people are going crazy for it. And I think it's a good contrast of light and dark together. Yes, yes, very much so. Because they did where the kitchen area is kind of more the white colors, mm -hmm. but then the living section, they put more of your darker colors to kind of give it that separation. Yep, which yep. Is I nice. think it looks really nice. Puma's mm -hmm. doing it, everybody's doing it. So, yep. cool. Okay, so actually, uh, that segues into we picked a few of the units that we had on the lot okay. that featured some of those lighter colors. Yep. This being the 25 RES. This video performed so well on social, got great response, and I think it's a good example of what you were talking about with that light, but it's got those dark accents, like yes. where your, let's see, how would that be up here? Doesn't matter. Where you're hanging your coats up here, yeah. or like uh, the floor. Yeah. Another thing I love, too, is the wider planks that they're putting on these. I think mm -hmm. it looks more residential. Yes. You like it? I do like it. And then what's another one she picked out? Oh, we the didn't even talk one. about. Yeah. I think, okay, first off, small camper-wise, this Hideout 186 is probably my favorite. Uh-huh. And I love it. I just think it's so cute with all the white cabinets and stuff. Now it's made a tiny camper seem even bigger. I agree. And the way they did the interior of the front cap wall where it's a darker color yep. to kind of like you said contrast mm -hmm. it's a sharp sharp unit it is and then we've got our puma i me personally i like everything about the puma i'm not a huge fan of that flooring personally oh yeah what is it called um 
ugly. herringbone or whatever they call that like pattern. I just I don't I don't know what it is about it, but like the way they've done to your point with contrasting colors and stuff, the way they've done like that darker countertop. Yes. But then you've got the light colored mm-hmm. cabinets with that black stripe that runs up at the top. I mean, it looks really really nice. It is really sharp. Yeah, I'm kind of like 50-50 on the floor. I like it. it. Okay, I guess if I hadn't seen the newer, wider plank, hardwood-looking floors, yeah, I would probably like this, but I would lean more towards that, that wider, wider plank. plank. Point. Yeah. I gotcha. So yeah, definitely a cool trend. I think that I think the manufacturers listen to the people, mm-hmm. and I think that that trend is probably going to continue for years to come based off yes. the success. I mean, Montana has just exploded this year. Yes. So Montana went to the lighter colors for 2020. So a year ago, they went to the lighter colors and noticed a boom. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I think you're going to see a lot more brands say, hey, look what happened when these brands switched their yeah. interior to lighter. Let's do it. Well, I remember when we went to the open house last year, all of us were like, you know, you got to, the buzz, huh, yeah. the buzz <laughs> we're like, you got to go check out the Montana's. You got to go. I mean, yeah. they just kind of overshadowed everything they else did. at the show. And there was a lot of cool stuff at the show. Yeah. It really stinks. COVID got us with not going to the show this year. I know. I look forward to it. Stupid COVID. At least I got to experience it last year. You did. You did. I wasn't but. there at the same time as you, was I? No. No, oh, you missed out. I'm a blast. <laughs> He's so modest. Right, Greer? <laughs> No you keep an eye on the camera, girl? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So now we're into Around the Web. Around the Web. And Greer put this show together, so I'm seeing all this content for the first time, too. Well, that's exciting. Right? I mean, it's going to be an adventure. I'm not looking forward to the Who Sold It Better. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I'm going to give Tony any credit for anything, he's really good at the Who Sold It Better. He is. He really Because he's, he's so knowledgeable. Yeah, he's like, oh, that's a 1757 frame. Yes. That's the most sought-after frame in the world. There's only four in existence. I know. How do you? But you know what? We've never fact-checked him. He could just be making all that up. He could be making up. it up. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going with that. <laughs> Tony's making it up. Like, I'm going with that. Next episode, I'm just going to start pulling stuff out my rear and see if he even <laughs> This is a, a 34 Fluger that, uh, <laughs> they're like worth $10 million. He'll correct me. He'll be like, no, Mallory, that's not no, it. Probably, probably. You should try it, though, just to I see. I will. Just, just to for see. for fun. So, I don't remember what episode it was, but we had the, uh, where the people had the pop-up canopy oh, with the hot yeah. tub in it. Remember yeah. that? And Tony was like, because he didn't what know what it was. was. Right. Yeah. So I feel like this is kind of like that. Yeah. I think There's I no would, hot tub. I would take the hot tub over the air mattress. I would too. Like if I'm gonna be in something inflatable. It might as well be a hot tub. It will be a hot tub. <laughs> right. But that is a really cool it setup. Is Van life is so popular. Yeah, but you gotta have this outdoor setup because there's nowhere to really chill inside. I have never seen a van that has the pop-up up up at the top like that. No, me neither. So I'm guessing, is that like, is that your sleeping quarters up there? I would assume so. Yeah. I 100% would fall out of bed, fall (laughs) all the way down to the bottom, and hurt myself. Maybe that's why they have the canopy out there, too. It's like a net. (laughs) You don't catch you if you roll off. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. I can't get a hold of my papers today. I'm not a pro like you guys. (laughs) I don't do it enough. Remember that, that. But now, okay, so, but speaking of that, I was in the grocery store the other day, and I normally have, like, produce bags that I take with me. Well, I forgot them, so I had to use the plastic bag. Yeah. During COVID, one thing you don't want to do in a grocery store is have to, like, lick your fingers to open. Yeah, the, that's that's a definite <laughs> no-no. And it's a pain to do. Like, I looked ridiculous. I mean, if you could just imagine, like, trying so hard at that thing. Campfire Buffalo Beer Cheese. This looks amazing. It does. My wife makes a buffalo chicken dip that I think is similar to this. Yeah. That is fantastic. Have you had a Sarah? Or have you had Sarah's <laughs> buffalo yeah. chicken dip? It's delicious, isn't it? Yeah. Spicy. Ooh, I like spicy. So what is the, okay, what makes this so special? So you put an IPA in there. Mm-hmm. I wonder if you just do it with a regular beer. It is, yeah. 
Does it have to be an IPA? I mean, I like IPAs, so don't get me wrong, right. but does it have to be? Okay, the one thing it's got me on, though, no blue cheese crumbles. Yeah, no, I'm not a blue cheese fan. And I feel like, okay, you're adding the buffalo sauce, which is nice, but uh-huh. I need something with more spice. Uh-huh. Well, I guess you could kick it up a notch. You put some jalapenos in there. That's a good idea. Okay, some I'm saving this to the side, you guys. I'm going to make it. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it this weekend. Are you going to use an IPA or are you going to use a regular beer? I'm not a beer drinker, so I'm going to have to use whatever Derek's got. Is Derek an IPA drinker? He is very much a beer connoisseur. He'll drink just about all kinds of beers, IPAs. See, I'm the same. Yeah. I like I like it all. There's sometimes I'm in the mood for a regular old Bud Light, Miller Light, yep. whatever, and then there's other times where I want to be snooty and drink an IPA. That's how Derek is, and that's why I hate when he's like, hey, go to the liquor store and get me some beer because I don't know. Well, you just grab whatever's on that's the shelf. That's what he tells me all the time. Just grab whatever, but I can't. What does irritate me, though, is you go get a 12-pack of Bud Light for $10, yeah. and you go get... Uh, IPA for ten dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. You're like, oh no, I spent fifty seven dollars and I got a four pack. Right. Oh, all right, I'm gonna make this too. Okay. We're gonna have to do it. Maybe I'm... have a cook off sometime. You bring yours in, I'll bring mine in. Yeah, I'm gonna like try it this weekend. I'm gonna I'm gonna jazz it up a little bit. I like that. Put some maybe like jalapenos, peppers, like. We bought a spicy garlic hot sauce when we were down in Gulf Shores. Yeah. And. I've been putting on everything. Pizza, I mean, you name it, I put it on it. I put hot sauce on hot sauce. It's so good. Maybe I'll put some of that in there. There you go. Okay, so. Reno time. Yeah, Reno from Joyfully Growing. I like that name. I do too. This Holy. is a very standard layout and wow. Holy crap. They like completely transformed this sucker. It looks like a... One, it looks like a house. Yeah. I mean, when you look at that, you don't think camper. You think house, other than the air conditioner and the ceiling. Yeah. That is beautiful. I mean, they, like, completely redid the counter space, the sink, the cabinetry up above. They took the cabinets out of the slide out, made a coffee bar. This is, like, a totally different... The little table over there facing the window. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. And, notice... It's white, and mm-hmm. it has the large planks in the floor. See? Yep. See? Renovations do it. Now the manufacturers are doing it. <laughs> right? Right. No, that's awesome. That's a complete transformation. I think a lot of times we see just, hey, we painted the cabinets, we changed the flooring, which are still beautiful. Right, right. But they completely changed. The I mean, yes. That one. Yes, they could sell that bad boy easy. Oh, yeah. So guess what time it is? It is time for Gadget Corner. Gadget Corner, and it's a gadget that I don't know a lot about, so we're going to work through it together. I know. I think I know a little bit. Do you? Ta-da! Shing! Shing! <laughs> La! 4G LTE Wi-Fi Router by WineGuard. I think you're a fan of the company WineGuard just because it has wine in the name, right? I know. It's just disappointing when I find out that it's technology-related and not wine-related. Would you consider yourself a wine guard because you guard your wine? No, I pass it out. You do? Yeah, I spread the love. Oh, that was a really bad dad joke, by the way. But <laughs> It was. But okay, I- Mallory, you tell me what you know about this bad boy. So we notice a lot, and I think Sean did a video on it, too. He did? Actually. Mm-hmm. So whatever I miss is probably in that video with Sean. But you'll notice a lot of the newer coaches are coming in with a wine guard antenna on them Mm -hmm. which is nice so then you can buy this router and attach it to your coach and it will allow you to get internet now you have to have this Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to get internet your camper is not just automatically going to come with it so i have seen that in all the campers and i talk about it in the videos i'll Mm -hmm. be like there's the wi-fi but that's about my limit so you just buy this bad boy yep plug it into the spot and you're good to go so this is going to give you 4G Wi-Fi wherever you're at. Yeah, so this is certified through AT&T and Verizon. Uh-huh. So you'll purchase a plan through them. Pricing on the plans, I don't really know, so I can't really go into that. Well, it does say flexible data plans, including AT&T and Verizon. Yeah. And internet while traveling or parked. So if you were to sit back in your fifth wheel while Derek's going down the road, you'd have internet. Exactly. You know what? I wonder if it would stretch. Like, I wonder if the signal would stretch up to your tow vehicle. I bet it would. Yeah, there's like um, 
what is the radius on it? I want to say it's a pretty good radi radius on it. Like, you could be sitting outside your camper. And Up to a third of a mile. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. I was like, I know. Your tow vehicle is definitely within a third of a mile I would hope of so. your if camper. It, if it's not, we might have bigger issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you know that it has a warranty of two years parts, one year labor? I did not know that. And did you know that it has complimentary telephone and email support? Ooh, no. Basically, you call them and they compliment you. Is that what they Yeah. Do? They're like, oh, you have a problem with your router? Sorry, but you look beautiful. You today. look beautiful. Today. <laughs> you sound amazing. <laughs> You're so dapper. Uh, it has free apps for easier use, too. Nice. I think we've covered the crap out of this bad boy. What do you think? I do, too. It's a simple DIY hookup. It is. It's a very simple installation. I could probably do it if I wanted to. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to borrow one of these bad boys, and I'm going to install it in my camper, and I'm going to show a video of how to do it. It's going to be like a one-minute video where there I take go. it out, and I stick it in there, and I go, I'm done. So yeah. I think that'd be kind of cool. Okay. That way you can really say ease of use. Yeah. Yeah. Just prove that any old idiot can do it. <laughs> Guess what time it is. It's time for What the What? What the What? Oh. Tony hits really high pitch on that. He's like, What the What? <laughs> he does. I don't know how he does it. That was pretty close. It was, right? right? That was pretty close. He summons his inner, like, youthful choir boy. He does. <laughs> choir boy. You know? I don't um, know how he does it. I mean, he's... watered on that one. When you look at him, you wouldn't think he could hit that high pitch. No, because he's a very, like, burly, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, you're... Rough. Yeah, that's how you think he would sing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's such an animated person. This is... Snoopy. Really cute. I like it. I'm thinking you probably have to take Snoopy off the top when you're driving. Yeah. Or maybe well, he folds down. He might fold down because the whole, it, on these, like the tear drops, that whole top folds down. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's so. true. You know what I don't like about these? And I'm glad, honestly, that we don't carry them personally. And when you sit in those, like when you sit at the table, if they push you on the inside, you're like this. You're like all. And the same, like, on some of them with the couch that's on the other end. You're like, this. you can't look at the TV. you got to have to mirror so you can actually see the TV. Like, they're cool. Yeah. But, they're, and I, I can see them for, like, state parks and big national parks and stuff, but I'm not a fan. They're definitely for people that are not going to hang out in their camper at all other than to sleep. Yeah, that's literally just sleeping. You're just getting a nice glorified tent. What is our other home is underground? We... We dig earth shelter houses. Okay. Huh, well, look at that. We just learned their day job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, my Lord. What have oh, we got going on here? Can you even technically drive this? Is, is that even, like, legal to drive? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, what is it? I don't. It's a mobile home. <laughs> it really it's is. literally a house. There's, I mean, do you realize how poor gas mileage you're going to get with that thing? Oh, that thing's going to go at a crawl. Like, it's, yeah, and it's not going to get good gas mileage. I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. It yeah. looks like it's spacious, actually. It does. Uh, and <laughs> who picked the color scheme? Yeah, like, at least paint the truck not green. <laughs> yeah, anything but green, basically. <laughs> like, literally anything but green. It Greer, really sticks out. Greer, you found a gem in this one. <laughs> the nice thing is they're going to definitely see you coming down the road and avoid you at all costs. At all costs. <laughs> oh, my. Now, this. What is screams this? Screams, Tony. <laughs> this is something Tony could get behind. Is this, like, made to get through rough terrain, obviously, or, like, snow? I'm thinking you could go camping in 50 feet of snow and be fine. Yeah, I mean, this is like a ginormous snowmobile with a camper on top. Now, that looks ridiculous, but you know what? I'll bet, like, they have these up in Alaska and Canada and stuff. Yeah. I'll bet when these guys are trekking long distances or whatever, that's actually perfect. You're going to freeze your butt off getting out of the cab and into the camper. I want to know what the ladder looks like to get into the camper. And does the guy in the background working on the truck have his shirt off? Okay, I just, I just noticed, I was like, is he naked? It does or, actually look like he's naked. Is he naked. just wearing, like, flesh-colored clothes? 
I'm okay. going to zoom in as best as I can on this screen right here. It's going to be hard because it's already pixelated. Yeah, it's already pretty good. But he looks naked. He does look naked. Okay. <laughs> I mean, however you get your work done, I guess. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the other guy, well, you can't see his face, but he doesn't seem to mind. No. <laughs> no, he really Maybe we should be concerned if he doesn't seem to mind that yeah. the other guy's naked. Oh, it's just Bill changing the oil naked. No big deal. <laughs> That's what he does. I think a guy named Bill would do that, personally. Or Tony. Or a Tony. <laughs> See, Greer loves me because she picked another bicycling one. <laughs> this is just going to keep you sheltered from the rain as you're biking. It really is, but you want to talk about exhausting. I mean, bicycling is hard enough the way it is. And the goal is to shed as much weight as possible right. to make it easier for you to get from point A to point B. Right. This is... Are you keeping an eye on that camera, young lady? What's that mean? Oh, thumbs, thumbs up. up. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> Some kind of new producer <laughs> jargon that I was unaware of? She Googled it. Did we see this one before from a different angle? I don't think so. I would remember something like this. Well, it's not aero. It's definitely not aerodynamic. No. No, two, you're definitely going to be working. Two thumbs down. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't support it. It's like the, there's like a little surfboard on top of it, though. Yeah, but I don't surf. Oh, well. And that's just more weight. I know. I can't get behind this, Mallory. Get behind. That's definitely got to be like San Francisco. Yeah. Imagine pedaling up those hills in San Francisco. No, <laughs> no. Do it pedaling up the hills alone without all of that. Yeah, that no. Would be a bear. That'd be fun to take downhill on one of those. Oh yeah. Till you had to stop. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, I have not seen these. Well, Truth. I would, I would hope not. Well, I'm just saying. Usually, I'm involved in the and making you are and the creating. With the who sold it. Yeah, better. so I kind of know. Yeah. And Tony always thinks it's a conspiracy, yes. even though it's not. A couple of times it was. Yeah. He won't watch this whole thing, no, so he, he won't. won't know. There was a few times we... we... At the very beginning. Yeah, because it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. But then he caught on pretty quick, so then we randomized it. Yes. But then he still got stuck with bad ones. Yes. But we were honest at that point. We're like, we didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. So, you're the hostess with the mostest. I'll let you pick A or B. B. Okay, go for it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all righty, Mal. What do you got, girl? <laughs> well, it already comes attached to a boat. That's... <laughs> so, this is like a twofer. So it's know? not a boat attached to it. it. It's attached to a boat. Yeah, I think when you uh -huh. move the boat, the camper will go with it. Uh-huh. But <laughs> <laughs> they're also painted alike, you know, with uh -huh. all the blue. Custom paint job? Custom paint job. Hopefully there's no foul words in there. It doesn't look like it. I don't, I don't see any. You know. I mean, it just, it needs, it's a little bit of a fixer-upper. It looks like it needs windows because it's completely missing them. You know, once you just button back up that siding. <laughs> a little cocky? <laughs> yeah. A little cocky. Gorilla glue. It'll be fine. I actually <laughs> like that it doesn't have windows. It gives you options. Like, you can make it your own. You pick nice your own windows. cross breeze coming through, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's in a lovely neighborhood. It does. It looks completely safe. <laughs> <laughs> You're even the furniture. You've got some furniture outside the camper here. I'm sure if you just prop that right in there. Would you sell that with the camper? Like if someone wanted to buy would, this from you, would you throw that furniture? I'd throw that in the deal. You would? I would. And the boat? And the boat. And it looks like there's an engine under the boat. Yeah. I feel like you have to throw in the boat. Otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> They're not taking the camper. They're not taking the camper. <laughs> No, no, take the boat. Seriously, it's fine. You have to. It's fine. All right, so Greer, uh, before I look, Greer either did a nice one and a mean one. Yeah, or two mean ones. Or two mean ones. That's her pattern. Yeah. She's always either, it's not, it's rare that it's two nice ones. It's either a nice one and a mean one, or two, yeah, it's rare it's two nice ones. It's either a nice one and a mean one. Or two mean ones. Or two mean ones. So yeah. I'm going to go with... Last time was two mean ones. I'm going to go with a nice one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> In my defense, it is nicer than the one you have. I mean, yeah. Like, <laughs> anything. So, you know how I would sell this, Mal? How? I'm not a salesperson. I would say if you're looking for a terrific starter camper, 
something you can truly make your own. Yeah. And and decide whether you like camping. I got the camper for you. It appears to be intact. It does. Uh, it also appears to have minor roof damage. Yeah. That has been puttied over, maybe? I mean, mine may have not even had a roof, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't think yours had a roof. So, I mean, I've outsold you already. Yeah. I have a roof. Um, although I don't have a boat that comes with mine. No, yours doesn't have a boat. Um, I do see a wheel. <laughs> yes. Um, lovely outside cooking area. So, you know, you can really enjoy the outdoors. Uh, the housing for the air conditioner is there. Yes. So I'm going to just say comes with the air conditioning. And, uh, yeah, lightweight, light, lightweight, and comes with spare wood. Well, okay, so I'm wondering, that looks like cabinetry. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, They've got to be gutting it, right? Yeah. Like... <laughs> so fresh start. Fresh like, start. make it your own. Like, it's whatever you want it to be. We're here for you. <laughs> here for you. I love it. You could call whoever did the custom paint job on mine. <laughs> I'm surprised, though. This one looks rough, but it looks like the canvases are all intact. Yeah, I mean, overall, with some TLC, it really may not be a bad camper. That's one big DIY project, though. Yeah. Talk about, what, what was mine, then? Yours is a pour gasoline on it and walk away. Yeah. Yours, I don't think there's hope for yours. I don't think there's the best DIY guy in the world that's going to look at that and go, yep, I'll take great good care of that. I think I'd be like, I'd take a dollar for it just to get it. God. You might be able to get some money scrap metaling it. It's just true because it is an older camper, so you know that's all aluminum. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is true. Well, Mallory. You did it. I did it, and that episode went really quick. It did go really quick. Mm. It's weird how it went faster than a lot of the other episodes. Tony, we love you. If only we could figure out what the variable would be. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Well, Mallory, I got to say that you're not only more enjoyable to work with, you're certainly prettier than Tony. I don't deny either of those things. Yeah. I mean, he tries to look pretty. You see him over here putting his makeup on and stuff before the show. It just does not work. But I really enjoy myself. Well, thanks. Me too. I finally got to do a show with Dan. I was getting a little jealous. Right? He had right? two to two. year zero. I know. It's about time. I'm a sought after person. Well, guys... Uh, I prefer to be on the other side of the camera, but had a lot of fun with Mallory today. Hope you guys get some camping in. Supposed to be a beautiful yes. weekend this weekend. Yes. Like perfect weather for mm -hmm. campfires yes. and relaxation. That good fall camping. Yes. Can't wait. So we'll see you next time. See you guys.